today we will learn about addition of integers in our life many situations arise where it becomes important to do addition of integers like the addition of profits or losses temperatures distances etc let us understand how to perform the addition of integers in such situations let's start with the addition of positive integers let us suppose a shopkeeper sold a pen and a pencil he got a profit of rupees 5 on selling a pen and a profit of rupees 3 on selling a pencil if we have to find the total profit then we have to add the individual profits we have learned from the earlier videos of integers that profit of rupees 5 is expressed as plus 5 similarly profit of rupees 3 is expressed as plus 3 by doing so the total profit is plus 5 plus plus 3 as you can see both are positive integers for addition of any two positive integers we add them without signs and then prefix it with a plus sign using this method addition of plus 5 and plus 3 without signs will result in 8 then we get the total profit by prefixing the result with a plus sign that is plus 8 here plus sign represents profit and the number represents the value of profit therefore we can say that the shopkeeper got a profit of rupees 8 can we use the number line for addition of integers think about it let me tell you the addition of whole numbers can be represented on the number line similarly the addition of integers can also be represented on the number line we will understand it with the example of plus 5 plus plus 3 for addition first of all draw a number line of integers here plus 5 is the first integer since it is a positive integer we move 5 places to the right of 0 by doing so we reach at plus 5 now the second integer is plus 3 since it is also a positive integer we move 3 places to the right of plus 5 and we reach plus 8 which is the result of plus 5 plus plus 3 let's understand how addition of negative integers is done let us suppose a shopkeeper faces a loss of rupees 5 by selling a pen and a loss of rupees 3 by selling a pencil if we have to find the total loss then we have to add their individual losses since loss is represented by negative integers loss by selling a pen is represented as minus 5 similarly loss by selling a pencil is represented as minus 3 this means the total loss is minus 5 plus minus 3 as you can see here both are negative integers for addition of any two negative integers we add them without signs and then prefix the result with a negative sign using this method addition of minus 5 and minus 3 without signs will result in 8 then we get the total loss that is the value of minus 5 plus minus 3 by prefixing a minus sign to it that is minus 8 here minus sign represents loss and the number represents the value of loss therefore we can say that the shopkeeper faces a total loss of rupees 8 the addition of negative integers can also be represented on the number line we will understand this with the example of minus 5 plus minus 3 first draw a number line of integers here minus 5 is the first integer which is a negative integer therefore we move 5 places to the left of 0 and by doing so we reach minus 5 now the second integer is minus 
since it is a negative integer, we move 3 places to the left of minus 5 and we reach minus 8, which is the result of minus 5 plus minus 3. With the help of these two examples, you must have understood that if the signs of integers are the same, then they can be added without signs and the result is shown with the sign of their numbers. Now if we have to add a positive and a negative integer, how shall we do this? Think about it. Let me tell you. Let us suppose a shopkeeper faces a loss of rupees 5 by selling a pen and a profit of rupees 3 by selling a pencil. Now if we have to find out how much profit or loss the shopkeeper made, then we need to add them. This means total profit or loss is equal to minus 5 plus plus 3. In such a situation, when one value is a positive integer and the other a negative, we will find the numerical value of the integers ignoring their signs. Here, 5 is the numerical value of minus 5 and 3 is the numerical value of plus 3. Then we will subtract the smaller numerical value from the greater numerical value. We get 2 and we will prefix the sign of the greater numerical value here with the result. Hence, the result of minus 5 plus plus 3 will be minus 2. It shows that the shopkeeper faces a loss of rupees 2. The addition of negative integer and a positive integer can also be represented on the number line. Let's understand it with the example of minus 5 plus plus 3. First, draw a number line of integers. Here, minus 5 is the first integer, which is a negative number. Therefore, we move 5 places to the left of 0. By doing so, we reach minus 5. Now the second integer is plus 3. Since it is a positive integer, we move 3 places to the right of minus 5. Thus, we reach minus 2, which is the result of minus 5 plus plus 3. Now you must have understood that if the signs of integers are not the same, then we will subtract the smaller numerical value from the greater numerical value and then we will put the sign of the greater numerical value before the result. Today, we have learned about the following three situations related to addition of integers. In the next video, we will learn it better with some examples. Thank <laughs> you.